guys, it's Jen, and today I want to show you how to use the new print and cut files that are in my shop at craftygenscow.com. So it comes with four different files, and one of them is a printable, a PDF that you can just print and hand trim out, but the other files are for use with digital cutting machines, and I have a Silhouette Cameo. So I am going to be using that. So first of all, I'm going to open my file. Just gonna go to open. I have it on my desktop here. Now, if you have the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition, you can use the SVG file. If not, you'll need to trace the PNG file. So I'll show you with the SVG file first. Either way, you're going to open the LoveScript print file. So I'll go ahead and open that. And you can see the printable there. But right now, there's no, there's nothing to cut. So what we need to do is open the cut file. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to open. I'll open the SVG file first. Okay. So it's gonna open black like this and what I need to do is turn on the cut line. So I'm just going to select it. I'm gonna go up to my cut window and choose cut edge. Actually, cut. Either way, it does the same thing in this instance, but sometimes it's different. So we're just gonna push cut. And then I'm going to go and lay this over the printable so that I can cut around the outside edge. So it's gonna give a little bit of a white border to these cut files. So it's opened into, into a new document, so I'm just gonna copy and paste it over into the printable file. So I'm gonna just do Command C on my keyboard and then Command V here. And you can see that I've got this file um, over the top of this. Now, in order to see through this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of filling this with black, I'm gonna make it open. But if I do that, I'm not going to have an outline around the edge. So first, I'm gonna go to my line color. I'm gonna choose red, because that's what the cut lines usually look like in Silhouette Studio, and that's just easy for me to understand. And I'm gonna go to the fill color and choose none and that's this little gridded option. So now you can see it's really easy for me to go and move this um, file around so that they line up just how I like it. And I'll just play with that just a little bit till I have it just right. And then what I can do is I'm going to group these. So just so it's easier for me. So you can just drag and select, and then at the bottom you can choose group selected shapes, or you can right click and choose group. So now it just moves around as one piece. So in order to print this, we need to turn on the registration marks because the registration marks tell the Cameo where to cut. So I'm just gonna go to that window here and choose Cameo from the bottom, or from the drop down. And I'm going to print on an eight and a half by 11 sheet, so I've got that already sized that way. And these files, or this cut file is sized so that you can fit it on an eight and a half by 11. Now you can size this cut file up and down if you want to, but just realize if you size it up that you're going to lose some of the detail of the image because it is sized um, just right for this file. So it would work really well to size it down, but, but to size it up, you just need to be careful with that. So what we wanna do is make sure that none of the cut lines or the print lines fall um, outside of the outside red edge or within the gridded area. So this pretty much fits, but what I'm going to do is just make the grid lines a little bit smaller. So I can move this over a little bit and move the top up a little bit so that I can put this in here nice and easily without touching any edges there. So now I'm ready to go ahead and print this, and then I can send this through my Cameo um, and cut it out. Now so you can use any type of paper to print on. It would look really great on vellum. I printed mine on some watercolor paper because I wanted to give that real watercolor look because this um, printable is done with watercolor, but of course you can use any kind of paper that you want. Regular um, cardstock would work fine, anything that you can think of, and it might even look cool if you printed it on some patterned paper. So let me quickly show you how you would do this if you do not have the designer edition of Silhouette so that you could use um, the PNG file and just trace it. So I'm going to just delete this file that we just put around it. I'm going to ungroup these. 
I'm going to delete this outside edge and I'll show you how we can get the same look if you don't have the ability to use SVG files um, in your Silhouette software. So we're going to go back to open. I'm going to open the file that's called Love Script Cut File PNG. And it's going to open the same way that the SVG did, but you'll see that if I try to turn on the cut lines for this one, it will just cut around the outside. It's not formatted the same way. So what I'm going to need to do is tr to trace it. So I'm just going to open my trace window, choose Select Trace Area, and I'm going to drag this box over the entire thing. Now I'm having an issue with my um, silhouette software where it doesn't trace the entire image. You shouldn't have that problem, but if you do, you can try playing around with resizing the window. Sometimes that works for me. Just um, resizing it and then it will capture the entire image or you can just uh, do it one piece at a time. But what you're going to do is you're going to unclick high pass filter and you'll see the entire shape turns yellow. And then click trace. Now because I didn't get the entire image, I'm going to choose select trace area and do it again for the bottom part. But you shouldn't have to do this. So I'm again going to click. Oh, are you serious? My silhouette software is driving me crazy. I got to call them because um, I'm going to have to do this three times in order to get it. Okay, so I'm just going to choose trace and then I'm going to do it again to get that last little piece. Unclick high pass filter, choose trace. Now for me to um, make this all into one piece, so you can see now I've traced the outside edges of these, which is what I wanted. I'm going to move that off to the side. Now you should just have one piece, but because I don't, I'm going to select them all and I'm going to go to the modify window and choose weld. And then I've got all my pieces um, together. So now I'll just group it. So now what I can do is I can copy this file and go back to my, my printable file and paste it in and again do the same thing that we did before where I'm just going to move the shapes so that they align in a way that, that looks good to me. I can group them if I want to and then I'm ready to print and cut. Now really quickly I want to show you how you can make this, this print file into any color that you want. It comes in black. But if you have Photoshop or some other photo editing software, you can pretty easily change the color. So now I have Photoshop pulled up. I'm going to open my cut file, or my print file rather. I'm just going to open in, in Photoshop like this. Now this is how I colorize things. I'm just going to make sure that it's selected, which it is. Oh, it was. There we go. And the way that I like to do it is I go to image, adjustments, and then I go to hue saturation. And here I'm going to click the box that says colorize. And now what I can do is I can move these little sliders until I get a color that I like. So what you're going to want to do for sure is to make sure to lighten it a little bit and maybe up the saturation. You can play with these a little. And then you can move along this little hue rainbow little bar here to get any shade that you want for these cut files. So I went ahead and I made kind of like a dark um, pinkish purpley color and I used this for my cut file um, instead of the black. So I just wanted to kind of make you aware that you can use these cut files a little bit more um, like in a varied style just by changing up the color a little bit. And you can do this really with any cut file. So that's kind of a fun uh, way to use these. And I like using them in color. So I'm going to go ahead and go and show you the, the layout that I created and show you what the cut files look when they're all cut out. Like I mentioned, I used watercolor paper, so I'll be showing you that. Okay, so here you can see the cut files all cut out. I missed one here. And these are just in the black that they come in. Like I mentioned, I printed it on some watercolor paper 
and so they're nice and thick. I just did a double cut on my silhouette to do that, but you can print it on any color paper that you want or any kind of paper that you want, and it looks really, really cool on vellum too. So you can see that it, it captures that nice watercolor look pretty well. And so these are the black version. Now I mentioned that I printed, I changed the color and I printed them in kind of a pinky purple color. So here they are printed in a different color and they just turn out so sweet and so cute. And you can see the difference uh, between the two here and you could really make this any color that you wanted. So I really love the way that those look and I can't wait to make some more but these are the first ones that I have in my shop. I'm just trying them out to see how they do and if you guys like them and I'm open to suggestions and possibilities. I'm also working on some florals and different things like that so if you're interested in those kinds of things please let me know. Now I'm going to zoom out just a little bit and I'm going to show you all my SD cards in a pile. <laughs> But I'm also going to show you the layout that I created using some of, or one of these um, cut files. So this layout is called You Are Lovely. Zoom out just a little bit more. And let me just, there we go. Um, this is just a layout of my, my daughter and I just wanted to talk about how proud we are of her and um, who she's becoming as a young lady. And so I just used some die cuts from Maggie Holmes uh, die cut package. This is an older one. And then I used some, these leaves are cut files from my shop. And then the rest are just die cuts and stickers from um, Crate Paper and Maggie Holmes and stuff like that. But you can see how, how nice that that uh, little title looks kind of laid over the photo. You can size these up and down a little bit. Um, just realize that when you size them up you're going to lose a little bit of the detail because they are sized um, to this size. That's They're optimized for this size. You could definitely shrink them and they'd be cute little accents. Um, they'd be more of like a little accent like this than a title, but um, they're really great for titles. And so that is why I created them. And I hope that you like them. Let me know in the comments if you do. And you can find these in my shop at craftygenscow.equid.com. Dot com, or you can just go to craftygenscow.com and click on shop. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you soon. And please let me know if there's anything that you would like to see in my shop from me. Thanks. Bye.